I'm feeling snazzy today. I'm feeling great. Yeah, hip and funky fresh. We're doing amazing. We're doing the good stuff. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Jazz is great. I, I'm trying to get back into it. Back into it? I'm trying to get into it. Full stop. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'll get that clap eventually. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the BNO stream today on this Vine, 14th of August, 2023. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Um, my week has been pretty all right. Uh, not much to say. It's been pretty all right. So I would like to introduce um, this stream, this game, by saying... I don't know how exactly, I guess everyone came, a lot of people I know are very aware of the Magic School Bus and various other uh, educational kids uh, properties out there, but the Magic School Bus is an interesting one because, uh, I don't know, a lot of people were engaged with it. Let's hop into it, why, why don't we just do that right off the bat? So, whoop. I am on a uh, <laughs> C Windows screen, so you're gonna have to gonna have to abide by me for the moment. And here we are. So this is not the very very first Magic School Bus game, but I think it's the second one. Um, they're all made by some company, and they started to push them out real hard. I'm sorry, by the way, I couldn't get the full motion video to be the whole screen, so you're gonna have to enjoy this tiny bit of the screen here. This is the Magic School Bus Explores the Human Body. Starring Liz Frizzle and Liz Frizzle. Liz Frizzle? Did Liz ever have a name? But it, it kicks in with the actual song, you know. Uh, so, all I can say about the Magic School Bus is that it was a very 90s uh, edutainment property. Um, and uh, it's... Very bizarre. Basically, every episode, the kids would get into the school bus and they'd go on a field trip. So Arnold will always go, Ooh, field trip. Uh, you'd have this range of characters, you know, they're all into different things. Uh, but you lump them all into a bus and you send them on a wacky adventure. And that field trip is usually something uh, extraordinary, as in the bus does things that a regular bus doesn't. It's just magic, you know. Uh, there's a lot of uh, moments when, like, like I, I think one that everyone remembers is uh, there's an episode where they go to space and they do the whole solar system, including Pluto. And then uh, Arnold gets very antsy at the end. I think his cousin comes on the trip and he gets very antsy and he decides to take off his helmet at the end of the, the episode and he becomes a frozen monster and dies a horrific death because that's what happens when you're on the moon. Kidding, but he just, he, it just cuts him back at school and uh, he's got a cold, you know, as you do. Um, this is uh, the magic school bus enters the human body. Um, there's an episode in the show where I think, is this Ralph? We're gonna call him Ralph for the moment until I learn his name. Uh, he gets sick and they enter him. In this game, it's not. Uh, there's many things you can click on this screen, but quite a bunch involve the activities that we'll eventually come across. So I will come back to the screen at the very, very end of the game. In order to weirdly actually get into the game, you gotta click on those shoes. As a kid, I got lost a lot trying to figure out what's going on here. And uh, yeah, these animations go on forever, and uh, there's gonna be people talking over everything. So I'm gonna try and commentate as I go, we'll see. Oh, that walk. We are going on our best field trip yet, class. Because oh, today, you're making we're going to take the a trip of inside the human body. Don't you worry about how we'll get there. The bus will take care of that. Ooh, what a fascinating and wonderful place the body is. If you have any questions, just click on Liz and she'll help you out. It sounds sort of Say weird as an adult Liz. these days. I don't know. How Hello wonderful everybody, the body is. And hey, All those organs. On also, Liz We're talks for some do reason. With Ms. Frizzle that you could never do in real life. For example, you could never really drive a bus into someone's mouth. And I hey. don't care how little you are, you can't go scuba diving in somebody's small intestine. 
You know this, and I know this, and we all know you're smart enough to know what's real and what's not. When you're ready, click on the bus and have some fun. So ready for adventure? There are so many places to explore, and so many games to play and experiments to try. We could be here all day just talking about them. Click on the bus when you're all set, and off we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the um. How do I? Yeah. They do very weird things. I think. Oh, there's another episode where they literally like they go in the ocean and then they get turned into eggs, and I'm pretty sure a dolphin impregnates all of them. I'm very certain that happens. Someone, someone, let me know if I'm making that up. Um, this did get rebooted on Netflix. I don't think it's still running, but uh, yeah, let's let's just hop right into it. I'll explore the the classroom when we're done. But uh, this game is wonderfully 90s. I think this came out in 1994, and it did work on. I'm running this on a Windows 98 machine, but it uh, or a PCM Windows 98 machine. Love this. You got the like. There's something. This scared me as a kid. I used to always get scared with like incredibly still things and really loud MIDI music. And this music is like jamming. I've, I've actually got, I think I've got the, the Sound Blaster 32 going. But if you've got the Sound Blaster 16, it's very, it's very jarring. Um, you can adjust your skin on your... Oh, I guess I'm the lightest I can be. They got a bajillion skin tones. Look at this. You can basically be like a shadow. I'm still going. I'm still going. We're getting darker. I think that's it. I think that's the darkest I'll get. Let's go a little bit more, uh, you know, safer. <laughs> We've got various different... I've got some silly hands. Look at these hairdos. These are insane. I think the... the something about the mouth as well. I used to always get thrown off by this one. Um... <laughs> You can make your own soy jack. That's what this is. There we go. There we go. Peak human being. It is me, Frank Beans. At least 20. There I go. And you can print this out if you want to be that kind of guy. Liz, help me. Hit the road, Jack. Liz just wants me to go, so... Click on this, and away we go. This is how the game starts, uh, real quick. Basically, just turn the thing and the bus goes into his mouth, and then you're gone. We got these wonderful CG sequences and this bizarre music. But uh, effectively how the game works is that you go around the 12 regions of the body. There's only 12. You might think we might be missing the some, mouth. but no, yeah, oh, we're always going to see this on screen at all times, aren't we? Can you change this, or... Oh, oh, there it goes. Or is it just looking at it? Oh, you can change it. Okay, cool. There's not really any reason, but the game does save your progress as you go. It takes forever to load things, though, I'll tell you that. Uh, but yeah, as you're in the 12 regions, um, you'll just see things. You, you can click on random stuff. Uh, you can actually click on stuff like that's the uvula. Um, clearly I'm on the tongue right here. Uh. Looking for the express lane? The nervous yeah, I think Liz just tells you tips and it's constantly and sitting there. Anywhere you want and nothing uh, there's gonna be signs as well to go to the other areas of the, the, the body as well. Like, look at these teeth. Oh my gosh. Toothpaste man, help me out. There you go. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, but this came out from that era of, like, when 90s games just did things. If anyone played any, like, humongous entertainment games, um, there's probably... Many other games that are like this as well. Uh, if you click this, I believe it just turns. You don't get an animation. It just immediately turns. Saves you the effort of turning. Um, we got a little, little wiry thing. It pulls down this thing, just telling you which direction you're facing. Just so you know. I know those compass directions for some reason. Uh, 
is also this button, which tells you um, what Arnold is doing out on the surface. I believe you can invoke this from anywhere as well. He's just walking around. Oh, oh, let's see what's the other way. Hmm. You can sit down and eat some chips, you know? You can read. His head is weirdly bigger than his body right now. Maybe that's what kids are. You can drink. Maybe he needs a drink, you know. Uh. Then, I don't feel. Oh, and then you can you can cause him to just you know. <laughs> it's constantly. Constantly sneezing. You can make him run for some reason. Why can we make him run? What's going on here? Let's give Arnold something else to do by clicking on these. <laughs> uh, I sort of feel bad, but I don't feel too bad. I don't know. Does he deserve this? Probably not. Hmm. It's just that. So, yeah, I don't have too much exposure. I feel like I don't really remember this show ever being on TV. But you'd always get, like, your teachers at school and they'd show you a Magic School Bus episode. And I guess the, the interesting thing with the Magic School Bus is that it went outlandish. Not, like, controversially, but just, like, you know, they do stuff that's clearly not real and then they just at the beginning of this game they even did the same thing they would just tell you all the things that were like fake hey where's the bus they just tell you all the things that uh, are i can't find anybody i knew i should have stayed at home this poor kid and this is this is where we are so you can tell where you know where you are i guess if you forget where the mouth is but, I, I don't know, as a kid, A, you know, you're learning what the mouth is. You're learning about the body. Um, <laughs> so, alright. What else we got? We got a little map here in case, again, you don't know where you are. So we're in the mouth. Uh, the other areas are all greyed out. Um, so, as long as you visit all the areas, then you are doing what the game, I guess, wants you to do. We got windscreen wipers for some reason, and you can spray stuff on it, I guess. And uh, this is a little drop down telling you a fact about where you are. Adults produce up to one and a half quarts of saliva every day. Me as a kid, what's a quart? Is it the same fact? Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know, it's different facts every time. Oh, unless you click it way too many times. Yeah, you know, you can learn some stuff. We got this as well, this uh, turns on the fan, and then you can make the fan rotate. It just kind of happens, there's not really anything to it. Uh, the last thing in the front of the bus is this, which is a different fact every, uh, every place, but, uh... Every flavor is made up of the four tastes. Sweet, Oh, this sour, has been disproven, salty, hasn't and it? Bitter, and different areas of the tongue sense them. So, you can drop the, the salt, and the salt... Yeah. Sour. Is this supposed to be like an orange peel? Is that bitter? Phew. Hey. See, I used to be like, oh, you know, he seemed to hate all of them except for the sweet. Therefore, sweet is great. Yay! It wasn't really the best, you know, thing to teach me as a kid. I only eat my sweets because Arnold likes his sweets. Uh, but of course, there's a little more to every area. If you click on the mirror, you'll go into the back of the bus, where, indeed, there's a lot of contextual information here. Every character has something to say, and there's usually something to do in the back of the bus. And this resort also has a different shirt every time in it. It looks weird. How do the teeth work? Now, tell the truth. We use our sharp front teeth to bite off pieces of food, and our molars to grind the food into smaller pieces that we can swallow. Okay. Wahoo! 
<laughs> Wahoo! She, she's going at it. Miss Frizzle, when do we get recess? Well, the mouth is just one of the many recesses in Arnold's body. Will Ooh, it do? Oh, that hurt. That hurt to say. Wow. An adult produces one and a half quarts of saliva a day. That's truly incredible. Mmm, stop with the puns. Oh, 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 here she, here she comes. We have different types of teeth to do different jobs. Our front teeth, the incisors and the canines cut and tear food. Our rear teeth, the bicuspids and molars, crunch and grind food. That is true facts. There you go. I remember Carlos. Can we stop at Arnold's wisdom teeth? I want to ask them the meaning of life. <laughs> what? What kind of storm is in the mouth? Why, a tongue twister, of course. Ooh. Ooh, some of these, some of these hurt. The tongue has about 10,000 tiny taste buds. Different parts of the tongue detect different flavors. There are four basic tastes. Sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. Give me an according to my research. Give, give it, give it to me according to my research, girl. Is she gonna read that out? Or? Oh my gosh. Put it away, put it away. Get rid of it. I don't want it. <laughs> I think this exit, that's a, yeah, that's an exit the game, not an exit the, uh, the bus. Um, there's this thing here called Splat. I think it's, this music, this visuals, like, this, this is some Cruelty Squad stuff going on here. You can, uh, uh make some stuff, makes fart noises. This is truly art right here. Pop some ears all over the place. Lots of, like, games in the mid-90s really liked, like, the entertainment stuff. Oh, gross eyeballs smushing. We got feet. Is this the sound? This is like the most awful, like, diarrhea sound I've heard in a while. Or just like organ squishing. Oh my, can I do the, uh, the S? I got my mouse trying to do, like, different directions. This is going terribly. There you go, it's the S. I did it. Print that out. Put that on. Put that on my wall. It's beautiful. But yeah, um, yeah, no, yeah. This this game is bizarre. It has some of the most like bizarre art, and like they just threw it in here, and it's like yeah, you know, cool magic school bus. But oh my gosh, there's also a little game if you hit his Game Boy. Um, every room has a different game. Chromosome. So this one, you have to somehow figure out which uh, things are which. So chromosome. There's two M's here. So I guess cro. Cro. Chrom. Mosome. We'll go with that. Chromosome. Holy crap, I got that one. Nice. Vacation. Vacation. Well, it's clearly a vacation, right? Vacation. Oh, I'm getting good at this. Intestine. In. Are you doing something with your tongue there? Testin. Ten. In. Test. Okay, that's not it. Ten in test. So if you get it wrong, then it's like all broken up Intestine. into these syllables. Plasma. Ooh, ooh, hard one. Plasma. Esophagus. Oh, they spelled esophagus wrong as well. We spell it with an O in, um, in British English. British. Alright, O. Sophagus. O. Soph. Soph. E. A. Gus. Sophie. A. Gus. I guess that. Esophagus. Nice. Skeleton. 
I don't think I was a, really a man. I think you just keep like looping wise. But oh no, I hit yes. Now I gotta hit start, quit, and then no. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll try and show off as much as I can in this game in one go. This is just like a yeah. I had edutainment games as a kid. Um, not too many of them, but I did have a number of Magic School Bus ones. I think I had like five of them. They ranged in how much they worked, but this one was one of the ones I had, and it's the earliest one chronologically I had. I never had the, uh, Explores the Solar System one, um, but I feel like this one is bizarre. So, let's wheel our way over down to the esophagus. And then you get these animations of the bus basically going down these sort of traumatizing, like, I mean, it's all fleshy. So, this is technically an organ, you know. We have a little slider up the top that wasn't there before, by the way. What does this do? I don't know. I don't know what this does. It just kind of spins around, I guess. Pull it back up. Let's get a fact. Let's get a fact about the esophagus. Peristalsis means you can swallow while lying down or standing on your hands. That is true. Have you ever tried swallowing while upside down? It's actually really painful though. People have, with deeper voices have longer vocal cords. Is that true? Maybe. Your esophagus squeezes your food to the stomach. This is called peristalsis. Cool. Let's do the little front activity. Bro, he doesn't even chew. He didn't even chew. <laughs> oh no, I'm causing him to die. Okay, hold on, hold on, we'll do this, we'll do this. So you gotta, you hit the tongue, you do the, the, the nasal cavity thing. I believe this is your epiglottis. Liz, you got an explanation? Swallowing is more than shoving food down your throat, you know. First your tongue pushes the food back, then your palate flips up to give you more room. Your epiglottis slams down you to go. cover your windpipe, and your larynx moves out of the way. Yeah. Now you gotta do it upside down. I mean, it's the same process, right? You're just clicking the other side of the, the, the mouth. I'm learning stuff every second. Video games can be school. What do I need a teacher? There you go. Very worth it. But yeah, no, I, I legit, like, I like this as just like a, a thing. It's a very concise bit of information where it's like, yeah, no, like, that teaches you how to do a thing. And I always, as a kid, I really wanted to see everything and really, like, experience stuff. The music weirded me out, though. I don't know what's going on there. There's legit a song that's in 5-4 at some point in this game as well. Wahoo! You got nothing, have you? What's a saga pose? A backwards esophagus, I suppose. Is that just a normal thing people Did say? Did you know that your esophagus can push food into your stomach even when you're standing on your head? Yeah, Does it work just... for all foods or just upside down cake? How is Arnold's body like a garden? He's got swallows in his throat and butterflies in his stomach. Ugh, I hate these. How can we get this bus to move faster? We make it go full throttle. Ew, that that was a terrible pun. Ew. I hate it. I hate it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that note came out of a skirt for me. According to my research, muscles lining the esophagus walls push food into the stomach, the same way that toothpaste is squeezed out of a tube. This motion is called peristalsis. And that's why we can swallow even when we're upside down. They really want us to know that fact. Give us the goods. <laughs> That's it, I thought he was gonna say something, but no. Just, just a giraffe that swallowed a phone. Cool, cool. Is it just me, or does anyone else feel like we're in a tube of toothpaste? 
Well, the esophagus oh does gosh, look sort neck. of like a toothpaste tube when it squeezes food down the throat. He's got a game. We got a game. Oh, yeah. This is well. Like, what is this texture in the background? This weirded the heck out of me. And some of these drawings get even more bizarre because, like, who drew this? What is this anatomy going on? Uh, this effectively is like a little puzzle where when you click on each corner or move certain other things. Okay, so I'm looking at this going, like, this bottom left one doesn't rotate from any other one, so okay, we'll start with that one. This rotates... Oh, these, these three are all linked. This top left one rotates that one by two, so there's only two spots for that. Oh wait, I think we're good. I think we got it. Easy. This is so amazing! Yeah! Let's do the hard one now. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, okay. This is a sliding puzzle, except you can barely tell what you were looking at to begin with. And it's so slow, you'll probably not care. Like, it's a sliding puzzle. Worst part, you can't even see that they've, like, linked up. Like, they all don't look like they actually line up, but trust me, I think these two are connected. Like, hold on, legit, like, spot that picture again. What a bizarre picture. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to solve this because legit, what am I looking at with these two pictures here? This is, this, <laughs> this is legit. This is a very difficult puzzle. And honestly, like, there's no reward to doing a sliding puzzle. Let's just say, if I could do this quicker, sure, and also if it was a lot clearer what the sliding puzzle was. Um, I believe this game is actually advertised for Windows 3. Just, just for heads up. Um, but yeah, no, I, it works on 98. Oh my gosh, the shoes, what are those? It works on Windows 98, there's no, like, concern or issue with that. Alright, further down into the Arnold, we have to go to the stomach drop. Where the bus will slowly dissolve in, uh, stomach acid. Very slowly. I'm actually, I've always Hang wondered... On, class. Here comes the stomach! I've always wondered, it's like, you know, if you barf on someone, it's not like their arm, like, melts. But, like, how does it do it to my food? Magic. Broccoli, 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 broccoli. Oh, chocolate bar. There's something... There's something real... bizarre, like, once we start getting further down into the body as well, because we're just... Like, we're actually looking at, like, barf right now. And, and the fact that, like, the little cheese are just become sentient. You could go back up if you, if you wanted to. I don't know why. It's weird that this doesn't, like, loop around as well. Give us a fact. Give us a thing. When you are full after a meal, your stomach has stretched as big as a balloon. Is that true? Pretty sure as a kid, it's definitely not true. Kids do not have massive cells. A meal stays in your stomach for several hours after you've eaten. That is probably true. I mean, you're digesting like when you like poop. It's like I don't think you ever poop your. I don't think you poop your dinner just yet. Most people eat and digest several pounds of food a day. I guess. I'm thinking like I don't, probably don't eat like a kilo of food a day. Maybe that's the American way. Enzymes and acid in your stomach break down uh, food into a soupy liquid. Looking for the express yeah. no, lane? No, 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 we're good, we're good. The stomach's job is to make the food you chewed up even smaller and softer. For about four hours, the stomach churns the food, mixing it with stomach acid to make a gooey mess that your intestines love. Good thing you don't have to look at it. Ew, gross. Are we allowed to put food in there? Oh, we gotta, we gotta pour some acid. Imagine your stomach had nothing in it. I'm gonna swallow a thing. There you go. Goodbye, cake. Burger. Goodbye. 
and then just shake it all up. And now your insides are mush. Complete mush. Wow. And it all goes down. If you got stomach acids, does that mean you have stomach bases or like there's also something like basic in your body somewhere? I'm curious how that works out. I don't know, so someone who knows anything about the body, please tell me. I'm at a loss. I still do not know. Oh, sometimes this is something different. Oh yeah, this is a, a little game where you... Do your stuff, <laughs> you gotta destroy! I love this sound effect. I, I want this royalty-free sound effect that, uh, maybe it's not royalty-free, but it came on like a CD. I mean, I guess this really hammers the point of, like, what an enzyme is, I guess. But, again, <laughs> who made this? Who, who, who was like, uh, we gotta make some, like, stomach textures. Like, it's incredible. It's, it's, it's incredibly, like detailed and gross but i guess how do you do how do you do an exploration of the body without being gross to me as a kid i didn't get grossed out too much but it's definitely like weird there's only so many things uh you know i wanted to see and that's right stomach acid is one of them we don't we don't have a window because the the bus is a different shape Wahoo! Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, you got a note. The stomach often churns when there isn't much food in it. This causes the gases in your stomach to make gurgling sounds. That's why when you're hungry, your stomach often growls. That is true. Carl's trying to figure out if he can tap the top, top of the bus. Let's get to the facts. If there wasn't mucus lining the stomach walls, stomach acid would eat right through you in a matter of hours. Kind of gives you a different way of thinking about mucus, doesn't it? What? Okay. Oh. Here it comes. Your stomach is like a built-in food processor. It adds digestive juices to food and then churns and mixes it together to continue breaking food down into a mushy liquid. I've never had a food processor. I, usually we just call them blenders. I never thought Arnold had any guts. Was I wrong? As I always say, never judge a stomach by its lining. What? You went... Mm, 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 I just, oh, the puns. The puns get bad. What am I looking at here? What am I looking at? Why'd they put this in the game? This is clearly some artist, because no kid would draw the eyes like that as well. What's in the bag? Oh, another book? Don't think that had anything to do with stomach lining, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I don't think Arnold's stomach likes us very much. It keeps growling. Relax, Ralphie. It won't bite. But wait till we get to the mouth. Uh... It's weird, because you always start in the mouth. I don't know why. Ah, so here we go. We have an you actual game. You need to turn and move the falling blocks. Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Read the... Read the question mark as well. This is... This doesn't tell you anything. Okay, read this essay. Line up the four major meals of the day across, up, or down. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta have... The best part is that you can't rotate with the arrow keys. So I think if I do that, that's lining up the four, yeah, with the day. Okay, then... I do that, and then... Just stack them on top of each other. That'll be fine. That'll be easy. Does that count? Nope. Not really. I'll well, just do stuff like this. This will probably work out. Ever play Tetris? This is how you do it, right? Oh my gosh, they don't fall down. Oh, 
what did that just stack on? What are these stacking on? They don't fall down. There you go. Slide that in there. Alright, I'm gonna need a green one. I'm gonna need a green one. There you go. Alright, alright. No, no, no. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Easy. Easy money. Easy money. This is so amazing. <laughs> I'm a god. I'm a god gamer. I beat down the hatch. I couldn't beat it as a kid because I, I thought I was matching like things and going, why isn't it working? It's because you need four different ones. But <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, imagine Tetris, but the blocks don't like fall down after you've done a row. <laughs> it's a bit painful, a bit oof. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I have another ed um edutainment game, and I really want to give it a go. Um. But I gotta like magically figure out how to play it um and that's the thing with uh, i guess a lot of these older games just in general you got to figure out how you run this this one i will say it runs fine in windows 98 just give it you know the the pentium processor and uh the 640 by 480 res don't increase the res because otherwise you won't see anything it doesn't scale also the bus gets really tiny and then goes through um here but we're, we're in... And now, the act you've all been waiting for. Here's the small intestine. We were uh, all... Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. Oh, what can I hear? It's just another... Another periscope. Are we just shooting enzymes again? We are. I mean, it's not like there's a goal. It's more just like it's there. And then you gotta watch the bus spin... Um, but yeah, I feel like edutainment games as a kid are, like, sort of important. I think every every kid needs some of them. But I like these ones where it's like, they're like, activity packs. And not necessarily, there's no real hard goal. But it gets you thinking about, like, food things all the time. Even if it was like, I'm playing a game where I just match the squares. You know, you're in the context of thinking about, like, food-related things, you know, in the stomach. Now we're gonna do this like fun little experiment. Your small intestine is like a big shaggy sponge, soaking up nutrients from the gloopy liquid that was your lunch before the stomach got through with it. It's called the small intestine because it's skinny, but in fact, it's nearly 20 feet long. All this length makes the intestine able to absorb more food for the body. That is true. So. Big gross. You pour some goop in, that's how long it takes. Then you have a slightly longer small intestine. This is, I mean, these are like actual experiments that you'd run in like a classroom. You'd be like, oh, this is like how the small intestine works. And then you extract nutrients the longer it's here. So then you make, I used to always be like, wow, look at this thing. Whoa, they drew it all over the place. We got the most amount of usable nutrients out of that. And then the large intestine gets nothing. <laughs> As it does. Poor large intestine, always overlooked. It would actually suck so bad though if you did get like... <laughs> I was gonna say like a... Like a I don't know. I, I was gonna mention something about a health problem. <laughs> I'm like... Listen, I don't know man. I don't know if I should be going there. It's probably going to hit close to home on, on everyone. Listen, I'm hitting everywhere on the body, okay? No one is safe. If you have some physical, some, some internal ailment, this game is going to, you know, point it out, I guess. I just bet that the person whose initials are D.A. can tell me what goes on in the small intestine. Uh, boop. D.A.? D.A.? Of course. Digestion and absorption of food take place in the small intestine. Okay, sure. Oh, give us the notes, give us the notes. Spilli are small finger-like projections that line the inside wall of the small intestine. They absorb digested food particles into the blood. It takes about 24 hours to completely digest a meal. That's right. 
Your small intestine has all these little, little fingers. When I get rich and famous, I want to retire to a villa in Cologne. Uh, sure. As if we weren't small enough already, now we're shrinking again. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. The small intestine can be as long as 20 feet. If it was stretched out straight, a person would have to be as tall as a house for it to fit inside. Oh. Uh, com comments about housing in the 90s again. Very topical. Can't believe it. Wish my house was as tall as that. What is this? Freaking small intestine snake playing songs, playing tune. Oh my gosh. I like how it has a crop around his hands. Who needs shading, am I right? The, the bus is drawn alright, it's just the characters are like... We gotta animate them, so... She doesn't need to hold the book, it, ju it just... It's open, it's there. Let's check out the game. The game of the, the day. We got Tunnel Vision Small. This, I used to... Whatever this was my jam. Take, your tunnel has to wind up here. This was my jam. Does the hints tell you? Wow, this is a, a thing. So I believe the longer a tunnel you can make, the better, but... You can't move them when you're done. I would like a, a, a something that connects to the top. Here we go. Let's see if I can get both of the, the X's. Come back on that one. There we go. Uh, let's make it go up and around. Oh, I guess he can fix it. Okay. All right. That's good joke. Good joke, guys. Does that mean you can make this, like, move around ad infinitum? Alright, I need that specific elbow piece, guys. I need it. I need that specific elbow piece. I would really appreciate that specific elbow piece. I would really appreciate it. There it is. <laughs> Heck yeah, 2800. I'm a god gamer at Tunnel Vision Small. This is ultimate. This is indeed ultimate. Check that out. Crushed it. So what's the hard version? Uh, I think it's it's just a faster ball. It is kind of fast, I'll tell you that. Except it kind of gave up. I'm curious. When the ball's gone... Oh, whoops. Whoops. I did that wrong in my head. We gotta, we gotta beat the score. We gotta beat the score. Do they put both? They spawned on the same spot. Does that usually happen, or? Yeah, I think it's a little faster. It's not exactly that hard. It's just. Making sure it's going the right way, I guess. I'm not getting the, the elbow I need, though. I'm not getting the elbow I need. Oh. Nah, never mind. I crushed Dorothy's score. It's fine. You know what I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> We also got the first of the explore, the small intestine. You can explore. You can get the characters to jump around. Just 
poop flying at them. Let's play hide and seek. All right. It wouldn't be a problem finding a place to hide around here. Why, yes. We got a tool bus as well. So you can... I love this music. Unbelievable. It just comes up when you got that magnifying glass. There's some neat stuff in the box. Just click on it to make the tools come up. Actually, oh, I should really, like, pull the soundtrack to this one. Because, yeah, it is a weirdly, like, just midi soundtrack. I love it. If I want to, like, go to sleep or, like, have very vivid dreams. Oh, oh, watch out! I have, I have just scrambled Arnold's insides. Oh, yeah! This! I forgot! I forgot! You can literally see aliens with this. If someone... Okay, real talk. If someone can, like... I'm gonna try and... Well... Yeah, if someone can, like, sort of decipher what on Earth is going on here. But we've got, like, an eye monster. The SS Polywog. Uh, mines. Um, it's... I'm pretty sure this is an eye monster. He's got a nose and a mouth. Like, what's going on here? I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try and recreate this whole image after scanning through it so much. And we're gonna see what on earth I'm looking at here. Someone put in this effort to draw this incredible piece of art. And you can only see it in this tiny window while listening to this music. Yeah, okay. If I missed bits... Whoops. <laughs> what does this have to do with the body? What did that actually... I mean, I know I'm looking at the, the intestine, but like... Legit, it's it's some of the weirdest art I think I've ever seen. Maybe this game means something to me as a kid in particular because it gave me a fascination with, like, the gross. Like, things were absurd and, and exaggerated in, in ways... Hello. Oh. Dude, this intestine's too small for the two of us. Let's go to the big one. Reminds me of like, you know, we got like New South Wales and then there's like Wales. There's York and New York. Also, what am I riding on? What are we on? Next on our grand tour. Dude, Arnold has tapeworms. Arnold, you, you gotta get that sorted out. They don't even want to tell us what's like. What am I touching here? Don't worry, we got the garbage truck. It's all good. It's clearing it up. Oh, he touched it with his hands. Ew, gross. Give us a fact about the large intestine: solid waste or feces I saw it at the end of the large intestine. Am I gonna get like demonetized just because I said the word feces? Billions of bacteria live in your large intestine, making vitamins and gas. Unless you're the kind of person who says vitamins. The large intestine is about six feet long and two inches wide. Cool facts. Let's do an experiment, shall we? There's almost a soda can's worth of bacteria living inside of you, mostly in your intestines. But don't worry, they help you digest your food by eating some of it. In return, they break down hard-to-absorb foods. They also make vitamins like K and biotin, provided you eat the right foods. Too bad those bacteria also give off the gas that makes you fart. Nice, thanks game. Here it goes, here it goes. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the sounds they make. They're like... <clears throat> Pardon me. Give him the broccoli. In the 90s, I think kids were fascinated with broccoli. I'm now going to shove a whole fish down Arnold's digestive system. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. See, now this is an experiment you probably can't actually do. Just a heads up, you know. The fart sounds is what makes this, though. But yeah, like this... The more I think about it, the more gross this is. This is like... This is truly bizarre. <laughs> Pardon me. It's just no nutritional value. Pardon me. No nutritional value out of that. It was just pure air. It's a celery of food. Wait. <laughs> Okay, let's take a stab at the back of the bus. Let's not stab the people in the back of the bus. That's <laughs> a little too young. And I got like 15 other video games to be in. Yeah, we got the... Does anybody know what the large intestine consists of? The colon, the cecum, the appendix, and the rectum. That's, a, that's the callous thing he'd say. After water and minerals are absorbed here, they go straight to the liver. Now that's what I call quick delivery. Ooh, that hurt. What did the large intestine say to the small intestine? Leftovers again. How many that bacteria okay. are in the large intestine anyway? Oh, billions. Give or take a few million. Did you know that our body weight is about 70% water? Why, we're just a bunch of walking water balloons. <laughs> Ralph's having an existential crisis over this. Oh no, oh no, he's been drawing a poop. The large intestine takes all the food leftovers that aren't absorbed by the small intestine. The large intestine then absorbs the water from the waste products, and the waste products then leave the body through the anus. Oh, he said the word! He said it! I know it's a technical term. That's, that's the actual thing. The large intestine works like a big sponge. It absorbs water from the mixture of digested food and draws it back into the body. I mean, saying like. The large intestine, no ifs, ands, or guts. Nice. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I guess in the previous game they would have said Uranus. We have tunnel vision! Again! This one's different. Whatever path you take, your tunnel has to wind up here. So I think this is like... Yeah, it's, it's larger, but... I assume, again, more points for a longer path. Can we overlap? We can overlap. Yes. They're probably going to tell me off for like the shortest path ever right now. How dare you make a boring path like that? Yeah! We need to beat Keisha's. We need to beat Keisha. Let's give me us a hard one as well. I, I can't make this any longer without going back over the ground. Why has he got his face over there? I like the background on this one. This one's cool. Can we make this faster? Just, just go. Go. Oh, wait, they moved the exit on me. They moved the exit on me. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. 
You've gotta be kidding. You've gotta be kidding. You've gotta be kidding. They moved the exit on me. I swear, it was up in the top right. Does this happen in the real large digestion? We got this. We got this. Yeah, no, they keep moving it around. They legit keep moving it around. I suppose the time when it gets out, other than like cheesing it real hard. I think the trick is instead to make like a, a path that goes like around the whole thing. And then you can just, like, hook up your exit whenever. That's probably the strat. I have actually made a large intestine right now. There is no doubt about it. Oh, other than I goofed over my, like, entry point. Whoops. You need to go up there. Okay, go kids, go! Go quick! Zoom it! Get out of here! Skadoodle! Go for it! I guess you lose points for riding over a previous piece though. why it's controversial why I'm doing this all the time though there we go just just go just go I'm ready I'm ready I'm gonna milk these points we're gonna we're gonna get these points are they gonna go faster go there we go So in theory, if I don't do anything, are they just gonna like keep racking up points? Have I figured out the strat? In theory, I guess in the last game you could have probably done the same thing as well. So all I need is a... Uh, for a square on the left. One of three squares. Maybe I'll change it so I've got like a top. You like how my score is going down slightly? I thought I had the perfect plan, but no, I do not. This is secretly the zero score run. It was secretly the zero score run. Okay, fine. We'll do it easy. We'll do it easy. We'll get the score. I can't believe they'd, they'd kick my butt like that. They did totally move it on me just then, though. Maybe that's why I never did this one, because it's just like... You know, they keep baiting you. Can't keep changing the rules like that. And then you gotta keep, like, cycling your pieces, because it's not giving you the... Correct elbow that you're expecting. Oh no, we're back. We're back in the correct position. Okay, just go for it. Just go. Commit. 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 You're good. You're good. Don't move, exit. Don't you dare move. Oh, 
Okay, okay, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Oh, okay. Whew, whew. I nearly lost the Kesha. I'm God. I did it. Phew. <laughs> Why is that? Why was that actually like the most like nerve wracking part of this whole experience so far? Don't even know. So let's explore. Oh, why would you be here? Where does the stuff that's absorbed by the large intestine go? It goes straight to the liver. Don't drop that. No, don't do it. Ugh. Wanda, you're usually the first to go exploring. But if I were you, I'd be really careful here. Oh, why? Oh no, oh no, what am I gonna see? I'm gonna see like... Aliens again? Oh, I got laundry and I got Nike Air 1, we got a cow! Nike... Clothes... Oh no, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. This is like a they live moment, you know? Oh, you thought the inside of the human body was, you know. Didn't you know there's intergalactic demons inside your, 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 your intestine? There are dinosaurs in the back here. There are just like, oh, the, why have they done this to me? You know what I mean? Like, this is crazy octopus. And a thing that says doink. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dorothy is right next to the grave of Abraham Lincoln inside my rectum. Oh my gosh, it's, what is this? One-eyed monster? I swear, this is a treat. This is an absolute treat. This is... This is incredible. This is incredible. I don't think you're particularly going to gain anything else about the other ones. Like, it's like... Oh, you get to hear that music. That wonderful music. You should always look at the bus. And Liz. There he is. Liz looks eternally, you know, on a different level compared to all of us. We cannot possibly comprehend what Liz is thinking. They ever explain why it was the Liz in the frizz? Who knows? So a game like this, can you actually buy it? No. You gotta really look out for your, your magic school bus thing. Your magic school bus experience. Now, uh... Oh, did I... Oh, I hit the credits. Sorry, I hit the credits. There's a credits button right there. These are not the real people, I, I think. I hope these aren't the real people, this is what they look like. Might as well, just, you know, midstream credits. Look at this one guy responsible for all the 3D animation. I mean, it didn't take that many people to make games like this, and that's what I liked about these edutainment games. You know. The effort to actually, you know, you don't have to make a crazy game or a crazy, like, detailed experience, but it's just, you know, having the facts, getting kids thinking about all these things, uh, and, and just getting them interested in it. I don't know, this one works for me. I want to, oh, I want to meet that Jared Faber father. I want to meet him. I want to figure out what he was on when he, when he de designed the magnifying glass theme. There's so many, like, music tracks in this game that are just like, they're two, like, two voices. There's no percussion, it's just kind of going on. Thank you, Scholastic team. Any others, or that's it? Oh! Good old special appearances. That's all the credits you need. I don't think you can click on the speedometer back there. You can't click on the horn, though. 
I haven't acknowledged, by the way, but uh, you can flick the mode that the bus is in and then pull down this lever and it transforms the bus. So you got your standard school bus, but you got the, the helicopter one, the submarine one, and uh, I don't know. There's not really any reason to be in the different buses. Like the game is just going to naturally, you know, turn you into the right thing when you need to go to a place. Driving our way to deliver. I believe there's animations for going back up into each place as well, so. Why never meet him? Now the liver is a little different. Just because you can't go inside the liver. What did Cleopatra and the liver have in common? They both live by the banks of the river by also, you thought we'd be exempt from the magic eye puzzle. Just a giant here. Oh, they love liver. Oh, they drew a mouth on it. Oh. Where are these eyes coming from? Where is, like... Okay, I, I want to know what the what the composer was on, but I also want to know, like, what's going on here? That is that is just the drawing from, of Arnold from earlier. Also, what is the stick figure? This pot, this, like, cake, we got another stick figure. Ants. I'm at a loss of words. I don't remember it being this abstract, this bizarre. Liver is the largest organ inside the human body, and it's four times heavier than the heart. That is true. You can get your factoid. Liver stores food as fat or sugar and sends it directly or sends it to your body as needed. This is a jam as well. We can do an experiment as well. Let's have a liver experiment. You think you have a lot to do? Try being your liver. It has to handle all the food to uh, digest, the I am my liver. that food, all the fats and extra proteins, recycle your old blood cells into bile, which helps you digest fat in your food, and to top it off, take care of any poisons you get in your system. <laughs> a pretty nifty organ. Uh, if it can handle poisons, uh, what happened to, uh... Didn't they mention Cleopatra earlier? That's kind of... So when they said it breaks it down, it literally, like, turns it into, like, goop all over the place. So it's like, check out this DNA, it goes to your kidney. We got blood cells. Kill it with a laser. And it turns into poop. That's right, I poop out my blood cells. My fat, we are gonna rip it open. And then send it to, to body. Poisons? Don't need them. Crush them up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm having a treat here, I tell ya. I don't have a particular topic. Um, I was gonna, like, mildly mention, um... Uh, I finished Xenogears, and I actually have a lot to talk about, but... I don't know, I feel like a much more chill game in the future will be... Great place to do it. Your sugars, dice up. I used to always get entranced by that animation. And I used to wonder where does storage go, but no, it's like, it's, it's in the liver. That's what it's, that's what it's on about. Also, I guess this is the, uh, 90s understanding of the body. Also, you gotta drive all the way over here. So I believe this and the kidney, uh, work by, oh, sorry, I have a different, you know, mechanic by, like, just drive around this overworld. We got liver lever. If you get the ball in here, it'll return it to the top of the screen and fall again. Then maybe you can get it in the right cup. So how this game works, I believe, is that you're just trying to like flip the dials and get the things going in the right way. Oops. I don't think it's really a bad thing if they go in the wrong like because they just sailed past it. I 
I don't need another blue, do I? No, I just need another red. I would do the hard one. I think the hard one just sets everything to like 10. So it's kind of like overkill. It's very hard to react to them as they like fall from the top too soon. Like that's fine. We just need more red ones to show up now. This is my jam though. This music defined my personality. It's not really a, a fail state, I guess. But yeah, if I click on hard, I don't know, like, I'm just doing it for more. I don't think there's a fail state. I really don't, so. You have seen Liver Lever. Let's just say that. Uh, let's go to the kidney. Who am I kidding? Yeah, there's no back of the bus on this one. They'll just say things here and there. Uh, I think the kidney is, yeah, the kidney is the other one. It's like this. The kidneys. Although, uh... It's not as fancy looking. We got a report. Give us a report. Many people can live with one kidney. If one of the kidneys is damaged, it can be removed and the remaining kidney will do the work of both. Yeah, but uh, that's a lot of work, ain't it? Give us a factoid. Give us a factoid about the kidney. Your kidneys are fist-sized organs that filter ways out of your blood. Your kidneys control the amount of water and salts in your body. Amazing. Amazing. Why do I need to, like, see in the dark here? You see, like, specks are, like, black in the top left? I mean, that's where my mouse is. Can't, it can't hide that from me. Get out of the way, squares. I want to blow my mind with a piece of art. Oh my gosh. What is that? A balloon, I guess? A bridge. It just says right. Oh, it says kidneys right there. It says left and aerial font. Okay. You know, we're not weirding me out. It's mostly the same, but there's a cube just chilling there. There's a teardrop going. There's a tap. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is this? What are they doing down here? Why is there a rocket ship? Why is there a butterfly in the middle of my kidneys? Why do I have the animal kingdom here and the actual bus? This is bizarre. I'm doing the game first. Uh, oh, this one, this one is going to a bit trivial. A good cleaning from buses to blood cells. So, yeah, it's basically, you need a... Oh, I'm hitting zero. I'm glad every key makes the honk noise. Uh, you gotta step on these little clay blobs, drive through the car wash. And then bolt to the end. And as long as this, the dot isn't forever gone, then you're fine. Uh, hard, I think, just starts you off at a slightly higher bit. Maybe the timing is different, but I don't know. This seems like a really easy game. Mostly because you can just use the arrow keys. Also, kidding around is not quite a kidney pun. This is ultimate. This is ultimate, dude. Oh, whoops, I hit yes. Ultimate, dude. Chubby. Oh, I hit yes. Tubular. Gnarly, dude. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this on this. We gotta do the experiment. It's, it's painfully awkward to wheel over here. What is going on? Inside the kidneys, millions of nephrons squeeze the blood nephrons? so tightly that water, salt, and wastes strain out. Then the kidneys decide how much salt and water to put back. The wastes and leftover stuff are urine, which trickles down oh, they the it. bladder. Okay, so what we do is we turn it on. I like this. I used to watch this. It's like Rube Goldberg. 
you watch it go, then you're like, uh, I got more water. I think it just, I don't know what it actually changes about this. Uh, I got, like, no water. Let's see, it, like, turns around. Turns into something, stuff goes around. Then you can go, oh, I'm giving it the sugar. The sugar goes around and again, turns into bits here and there. Just because the blood is circulating around, although it magically appears there. I guess it comes from the blood, doesn't it? Excuse me, I have to go now. Nice, nice. Thank you, Arnold. Thank you. Uh, let's go to the Hiat. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Dude, this song's in seven. Dude, this guy is rocking his multi, his like complex time signatures in a magic school bus game. Seriously, this guy is like, he's trying everything. He's doing it all. And welcome to the heart. Yeah, we in the heart now. We got police, we got ambulances, we got that. Help the multiplying. I think they. I'm pretty sure they do that. I'm not turning into anything. We got. Give us a factoid. Give us a factoid about the heart. The left side pumps blood from the body to the lungs to get oxygen. What does the right side do? The, you'll never know. You'll never know. I skipped the fact because I clicked it twice. Beats more than 86,000 times with that, bro. My heart's been like 300,000 times a day. Time to make him panic! Time to make him panic! <laughs> you are forever doing this. Is this actual, like, fact as well? Like, I know your blood pumps more, but is it, like... ...less gets to your brain as you're, like, walking? His brain is eternally at four, though. Use these to make Arnold run quickly, or walk slowly. The lights will show you what parts of Arnold's body need more blood, and when. You should be concerned about that heart rate, <laughs> Arnold. The spinning bus of doom. I wish I could make the game load quicker though, I tell ya. It's a sluggish one. To the back of the bus we go. I used to always hate the back of the bus. I used to be like, nah, front of the bus. Because the bus turns from the front. Kind of weird from the back. I, I don't like it. Bus drivers don't know how it feels. Wahoo! <laughs> cool. Thank you. I believe we're inside the right ventricle. One of the heart's four chambers. What a perfectly lovely place to explore. Oh. Let's take a closer look. Give us a good drawing, give us a good drawing. When the walls of the heart squeeze together, they pump out blood. Just the way you can squeeze water out of a plastic bottle. But we did the toothpaste analogy before as well. Do you know why the vampire was so embarrassed? Because he was overdrawn at the blood bank. Oof. Oof. The heart has four chambers. The left side is made up of the left atrium and the left ventricle. The right side is made up of the right atrium and the right ventricle. That feels like weird, like, not, I don't want to say circular reasoning, but you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, okay, so both chambers have a ventrium and an atricle. Like, okay, sure. You gotta say them like, like that. I guess it's a factoid, that's what you do in school. What am I looking at here? What is going on? Gonna like combine all of these. This is gonna be in a tremendous, a tremendous thumbnail for this video. I tell you. Yeah. 
Oh, that's kind of neat. I like it. I like it. What? The way I see it, the heart's like a big squeeze bottle. Yeah, and check this out. I'm getting a little squeezy. What? Was that a pump organ I just heard? Arnold's heart just made another squeeze play. Stop. No more puns. I don't want them. Uh, I think this is like a pinball game. Uh, it does not play like pinball games. It's literally on the moon. This is pinball on the moons. Go up. Get it. I think it's a timing thing. Like, the other ones are, like, timing based, but it's... It's, it is jank. Oh, oh, it's going. Okay, this is the fun part. Now you get to play two pinball games at the same time. Now you get to play like three pinball games at the same time. I mean, except, you know, you only go up like... One bit, I don't know. Listen, I, I, I'm alright with pinball, but... Does it, it doesn't look that jank, does it? Oh, I think this is permanently stuck now. It's just permanently stuck. Oh no, it's going faster. Oh, oh, where are we going? Okay. That was a good combo, that was a good, good roll. This is why you need gravity in your pinball game. They did not expect people to be good at this, apparently. Cool. Cool. Oh, I really need to get into, like, there's bound to be a super good pinball game out there. I've never played an amazing one. I've had, like, I've, I've played pinball effects, and my only problem with that is, uh, I'm broke relative to what the game expects. Watch them go. This is what they, they animated this the most, apparently. Going around. I don't remember looking at the screen for the longest time. I think I was very interested by like the uh, the, the 3D mush that we're looking at here. I, don't know, I thought it was fun to like glide around. Time to see some aliens. Oh, we got Da Vinci. We got bananas. We got um, Wizard of Oz. Men at work. Well, there's Toto. Uh, one way. Uh, timer. Is the clock on? Talk? What is that? What is that? I don't think they anticipated anyone, like, looked at this. If you told me these visuals are in your Magic School Bus game, I swear. People would say you're tripping. Is that Roy or your? I'm gonna say it's Roy. I'm getting a very Toonstruck vibe out of this bit right here. Oh. This is a treat. This is a trip to witness this and experience this. There's some neat stuff in the yeah, box. Okay, cool. So, how many places have we been to? We've been to the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine, the heart, the kidneys, and the uh, liver. That leaves, I think that still leaves four places. I think. I hit all 12 places though on a on a previous like run through. And I didn't necessarily know like how much. Like, let's just give it a check. And we haven't been into the nose. Or the lungs. Or the brain. Uh
I'm not missing anything though. Well, we'll, we'll give it, a, we'll give it a, a glimpse. Oh, I think nervous system counts as one because this is the thing. How do we get to the nose? Well, you click on nervous system. The nervous system uh, then just throws things at you, which conveniently it's these things that we need. So let's go to the brain. Traveling via the nervous system does this little fancy animation where you just go through the stars. You know, the bus is traveling through the stars, I guess. And uh, I'll make it plain. Now we're in the brain. We're here in the brain. Now the brain can only be accessed via the nervous system. Also, uh, these things appearing on the screen are incredibly bizarre. Like I, I know what they're going for. It's like, oh, you remember memories and the uh, optical illusions are uh, playing in your brain, I guess. We're kind of looking around his brain. Give us a factoid. A normal adult brain weighs about three pounds. It's a good hunk of meat. Have you ever held like, I, I, I like cooking like, like larger bits of, of meat and then like, you know, cut them up and preparing them for later. Um, and, uh, and legit like a kilo and a half, three pounds is like, it's a bit of a chunk. The size of your brain has nothing to do with how smart you are. Oh. Way to make me feel better. My brain is... <laughs> I got a big brain academy big brain. It's like three kilos. Let's give us an experiment. Just th this visual alone, I sh let me tell you. We use our brains to control our bodies and to feel things. The brain splits these responsibilities up so that different Into parts sweet, of the brain sour, are bitter, for and, and parts of the body. spicy. Something tells me I should have stayed home today. Hey, where'd everybody go? Okay, we're two out of three on anxiety and one out of three on anti-gravity. Itch, scratch. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me? Itch, scratch. Why is his voice all raspy when he does this? Itch, scratch. Okay, we're three out of four anxiety. Hmm? Okay. Hmm? You just can't hear. Hmm? Okay, so the first three are anxiety. Uh, well, sorry, three of these are anxiety and three of these are attention deficit. And one is just anti-gravity. Unless disobeying gravity is also attention deficit. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I... This is incredible, this is incredible, I'll tell you. To the back of the bus we go, to the back of the bus we go. I do miss the better loading times though, I tell you, there's a lot of loading time just to... You know, see that. And how is the brain connected Does to the rest of the body? Does she have bus earrings? There's a bundle of nerves called the spinal cord that starts at the base of the brain. What's the brain's favorite lunch? Noodle soup. Mm, that's a that's a stretch. That is a stretch. The human adult brain weighs about three pounds, but it can do more than any computer ever made. Wow, I mean, granted, I think quantum computers were entirely theoretical in the 90s, like, no one had any idea what was going on. Now, we've got real quantum computers, and, yeah, artificial intelligence is sort of getting kind of annoyingly like, good at jobs. This great blob controls the whole body? This That's wave file is, like, That's eight the times the bit rate? We've got more than 10 billion nerve cells working around the clock to keep our heads above water. Okay. You know what I don't like about the brain? That it's such a know-it-all. You know what's actually kind of weird? I just realized this. Miss Frizz is at the back of the bus. Who's been driving? Who's been driving the bus? Has it been me? They've not established, like... Nice. They've not established how old I am. Oh yeah, I forgot if you click it, it does that. They, they never actually animate, they just do that. It's, it's strange. 
I'll just eternally say it's strange. Human body from the inside like this makes me want to be a surgeon. I'm sure you could carve out a very successful career in don't, surgery, Dorothy Ann. Don't, don't say that. Don't tell people that. I'm gonna tell my doctor your friends that. Around the clock, even when you're sleeping, your brain controls your heartbeat, breathing, digestion, and other bodily functions. I'll have you know, the brain controls me not sleeping at night. Oh, he sat on the Game Boy, and then it got better. Oh boy, can you even read that? Look at this bizarre picture we got going on here. Uh, how did this one work? I'm pretty certain it's just a memory matching game, and it doesn't matter what you're actually looking at here. Oh, sorry, it's less than memory matching. You're associating... Apparently, Road does not associate with a... The bike. Well, the trains with the rails, and the pirates with the road, and then the trees are with the bike, I guess. The bikes run into trees. Check it out. We did it! Woo! So, what's the hard version? Oh, now I need to know what football is. Look at these bad neurons coming at me. Hockey puck. Oh, did I? There you go. Baseball. That's a foot. Be good for. Is that net? There you go. Bowling. Oh, I guess those are your lives. You don't want to run out of lives. Sure, that was it. That was it. That was my brain game. Hope you appreciate the brain game. <laughs> time to time to jump on his brain. And then Carlos died because he touched the brain. What is going on here? Are you just you're just walking around. And Carlos was a genius and now he's not. Where are they getting these thoughts? Is this what happens if you touch someone's brain, you suddenly get all of their memories? About to, about to inspire some really bizarre behavior going on. Don't give me those math equations about if you had a dozen cookies. Time to see some aliens. I want to see some aliens, dang it. Get out! Get out of these! Get in! Get get those squares out of here! You know what? This game's probably to told me not to do drugs or anything like that because I swear, I like seeing a face right there is enough to give me nightmares. I'm pretty sure that's a face, right? We got all these ones and zeros shown here. We have like can they draw eyes on a light bulb. He's holding a floppy disk with wings, and what is going on here? Saturn's got a... Oh my gosh. Is that what you call it? A think tank? Unatco. United Submissions. Something. Uh, why are you locked in the bathroom? <laughs> we have... Uh, like a terminal here. Uh, uh, I think that's one of those, like, um, calendars on the spindles. Uh, Harp, Angel, Flying Saucer. I told you, I told you we'd find the aliens. They're on the brain. Oh, snap, are we doing an Angel and Devil thing? Bro, the kids are not gonna get that. The kids are not gonna get that. The face, on the other hand. Do we have an eye over on this side, or? the Also, the broccoli. The broccoli thing. It's just bizarre. Again, again, again. Like, this. This should raise some eyebrows. What am I looking at over there? This is the most bizarre looking thing, I think. 
I, I'm gonna sleep easy tonight. I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, that, that face will be in my dreams. I don't think I even, like, realize this. Like, this is all, like, deep in my subconscious. I've probably experienced some of this as a kid. But not all of it, I swear. Or at least, you know, like, I couldn't remember all of it, but now it's like... What am I looking at here? So back to the nervous system, let's hit the lungs. Sailing back through, sailing back through. Uh, so yeah, this game is a bit temperamental with running the videos in full screen, but it's cool with, like, the little versions. Weirdly, out of, like, every, like, video I could find on the internet, you've got, like, you know, people who are like, Oh, I just, like, long play games, stuff like that. The one person who I saw had, like, a proper, like, full screen video version was, a uh, uh, is it Oni Plays? That's why this game was a trip for them, so. I mean, we've got mostly the same blood cells, but, uh, that happens. Let's give me some, some facts. Carbon dioxide and oxygen are exchanged in the alveoli. Alveoli? Alveoli? Alveoli, I think. Or air sacs. Air sacs is an easier name. Give us another fact, why not? Your lungs have more than 600 million alveoli. What am I looking at by the top? We're not blasting, like, enzymes anymore, are we? I hold on, where's the... Where's the thing? Where's the game? Give me the game. I don't think there's a game. I think they just accidentally threw that in there. Okay, let's just do an experiment. <laughs> just killing Arnold. Oxygen isn't the only thing we breathe. Air is a mixture that is mostly nitrogen, with some oxygen and a little bit of carbon dioxide. The amount of each is important, and too much of anything, even oxygen, is bad. That is an interesting point, and also something, like... Man, he's, he's dying quick. So I'm pretty sure high oxygen just means that, like, you know, you hyperventilate. I'm pretty sure Arnold's been in an environment where there's been low nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. This <laughs> is such a weird sound, though. <laughs> How bizarre. How utterly bizarre. To the back of the bus! <laughs> around and round and round we go. Where we stop? I don't know. Well, we're in the back of the bus, I guess. Hmm, the lungs certainly are large and spongy. Yeah, and they fill up most of the space inside our chest. Don't, don't, uh, don't call the lungs spongy. What did the lungs say to the nose? Give me all your air. This is a hiccup. Oof, oof. I feel just a little bit nervous traveling through Arnold's lungs. Exactly. As I always say, we have plenty of time to unwind later. Mmm, that's really stretching. I was going to say, does Arnold have asthma? Is that, like, what we're going for? When we breathe in, our lungs absorb oxygen from the air. When we breathe out, our lungs get rid of all the carbon dioxide. We take about 23,000 breaths every day. Every 14, breath you take. 14,401. Every move you make. I'm going to get copyright if I keep going there. Good thing it was a symbol crash there. The way I see well, it, I don't that, know. Our I don't need energy. that oxygen. And oxygen helps the cells in our body produce energy. I don't even need that oxygen. <laughs> oxygen is picked up by the blood in the alveoli and then carried throughout the body. Carbon dioxide is released by the blood into the alveoli and is then breathed out. Okay, cool. That's, that's a cool story. Dude, imagine how weird the Earth would be if, like, instead of, like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, 79% nitrogen. Imagine if it was, like, 50, and the rest was, like, you know, having to do oxygen. Like, it'd be kind of weird. I remember as a kid, I was like, we'd get the... 
Oh my gosh, jeez. Oh my gosh, no! No! They're all... Oh, I was gonna say they're all dead. It's, uh, it's just skeletons, but it is like... Bizarre. I, I forgot there was an x-ray, you know, thing here. Apparently the bus is still the bus, even in x-ray mode. That, that means that this is x-ray shielded. Why does she have that? Why does she have that in a bag? I guess she has everything in a bag. It's probably the gimmick. I clicked on it, and then it's like, nah. It's gonna take like an eternity to cycle around, is it? Nice! That, that That's in Arnold's lungs! Most places, that would be a bad thing for it to fly out, but especially, especially the lungs. Alright, let's do a game. Let's do a game. Air combat. I think this is actually a game. No, it's not. No, it is actually a game. Yeah, it's, it's Missile Command. Yeah, it, it, they actually implement Missile Command. Oh, it's fine with a mouse. The music's a bit of a jam. So I think, yeah, you lose a point for every click. But you gain like 10 for everything you get. Watch out for the Glorp virus! So you could say something about like how Missile Command is like, you know, something about the world because, uh... It's like, oh, you know, the game gets easier as you only have one base to defend. Oh. Okay, Arnold now has one lung left. This one, honestly, it's a little bit too much work to get to 300. Like, I, 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 I could try it again and do it, but uh, it's Missile Command. You don't even need to explain Missile Command. It reminds me of another song. Does it? I think there's an Alan Holdsworth track off Road Games, and it sounds like that. If someone can like connect the dots, does, it, does that make sense? Is that actually legit? Dude, watch out! This thing's leaving cubes everywhere. You just, you just took, you just took the poop. People on the magic school bus inexplicably swim and fly wherever they want. Like, when they're in, like, some magical place. You know, you know what we're doing. You know what's going on. You know what's, what we're actually doing here. Why up takes a thing. Alright. Here we go, here we go. Time to see some demons. Alright, we got a waffle line, we got a typewriter. We have the Mona Lisa! Twice, three times! <laughs> this son. Uh Geiger's Mona Lisa is not what I was expecting. This game came out the same year as Earthbound, I can't even, like, say one stole the other. We've got a leprechaun, we left our keys, and a safety pin. That is an actual real picture of a safety pin, I don't think that's rendered at all. This is just an actual balloon, as well. No, it's just a draw- uh, we drew a face! With- squirrel. Squirrel. Oh, this is a clock. Dice down here. Yeah, it is a clock. Cow. This drawing of a taxi. Ooh. Who's this? Who is this? Who? Who is this? Turkey. What is go? What is going on? What is? The Coke bottle top. What is? 
Matt, I'm at, like, I thought I had no words. Now I have fewer words. The words are, like, well, I guess the words are coming at me, I guess. But, like, what? What is that? What, are, what is going on here? That would give me nightmares. If I actually realized this, that would give me nightmares. I swear. I swear. Like, this game is getting more and more bizarre as I go along. We've only got, like, two organs left. Or one, depending on whether I think the nervous system counts as one. So I think when you've been to, like, eight of the organs... Uh... This little keyhole here... If you click on it and you're in one of the valid locations to, you know, leave the place... Because, yeah, we can fly out to the mouth. <laughs> That must have been some English, right? Some something that could be said, something that could be heard. I love the, the weird morph effect on the steering wheel. Yeah, the thing is like dangling around. Oh. The mouth. We're in the mouth, but, uh, we actually want to go to the... the nose. Because I haven't been to the nose yet. Ah, yes! Uh, nervous system doesn't count. I remembered. Who knows where we are? Uh, nice pun. Also, every time I touch a septum and he sneezes. Also, nostril hair is really gross when magnified. I just want to say that. You could think, oh, maybe it's like a huge stalactite, but no, it's fibrous. I don't know. I don't like it. And he's got a whole shoe in his nose for some reason. Give us a factoid. Give us a, give us a number. Food, perfume, and wine experts can recognize about 10,000 smells. What about Smash players? Without a sense of smell, food would only taste bitter, sour, salty, or sweet. Didn't, didn't we already establish the taste bud thing? Our facts are getting crossed. We're giving too many facts. Nobody knows the whole scoop on how we smell things. One theory says that each of the 4,000 or so smells you can tell apart are made up of some combination of seven basic scents. Flowers, decay, peppermint, musk, <laughs> that skunk to you and me, ether, mothballs, and spices. That's a weirdly topical thing to say. The nose detect them. All right, I'm gonna give him some flour. Mm. Phew. Hey. <coughs> Dying from the skunk. Whoa! Yay! Mm. Dude, Arnold, you're gonna you're gonna die if you eat like a whole chili just like that. So, and his jeans are purple all of a sudden. Oh my gosh, jeez! I didn't know about the seven cents. Is that like a real thing? Does that mean that there's like 28 like flavors in combination with the scents or is it more like you turn different scents on and off and you can actually get like more than 20 I don't know man I don't know the 90s interpretation of how the body works you know Wahoo! What are we looking at today? Has about 10,000 cells that do the smelling. They're called olfactory cells. Most people can recognize from four to 10,000 different smells. That's a lot of different smells. A whole lot of them. If Arnold wanted to be class president, his nose could help him run for office. Nice, nice, good. I feel a sneeze coming on. Isn't that one way the nose gets rid of things that irritate it? Yes, the nose is very a choosy. Oh, okay. No, that one hurt. Up, up we go. Where do we stop? In Arnold's nose. 
these puns are actually really bad, and I <laughs> was like, it's the 90s, Something I guess. tickles the inside of your nose. The tickling signals your brain. The brain makes you take an extra big breath. <gasps> then your brain makes your chest muscles squeeze your lungs. Air rushes out at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. Chew! 100 miles an hour? Whew. You're gonna get fined for that, for breathing there that fast. That was incredible. I liked it. I liked it a lot. How do you convince the nose that it's not really stuffed up? Through hip noses. Mmm. Nah. Nah, I'm not buying that one. Look at... Mmm. What are we doing here? This is... I think this is the same deal as the other one. Like, it's, it's the same puzzle, except you had to remember that the eyes were drawn like that. turns what? So that turns... Okay. Alright, so bottom right one is our, our control. Because nothing else turns it. And we just got some combination of these two going on. There we go, yeah, yeah. Double turn this one, we're good. This puzzle is fine. I understand this puzzle. But when we do the sliding puzzle, I mean, I understand the sliding puzzle. I just don't understand that picture. I don't even want to look at that picture again. I'm, I'm, I'm in magic eye puzzle mode. This is like burned into my memory now. And I still gotta do the classroom, so don't don't think I'm 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 off the hook just yet. Just yet. Um but I think yeah, we've got one more organ to go to. Uh and I'm trying to recall if there's even a way to get to this organ other than the nervous system. Just like the brain, I don't know. Um clearly there's a certain uh part of the body that we've not gone to yet. Um that's right. You know, you're looking through here, you're going, oh, what did we miss? Oh, of course. Whoop, <laughs> the bus is spinning out of control. On the skin and outside at last. This is what we want to be looking at. Oh, it's goopy. It's goopy. Alright, but yeah, the skin, I guess the skin is the largest organs. Our nails and hair are made from a protein from dead skin called keratin. Give us another fact. Even if your skin is cold, your body is always about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit inside. What a lovely fact. Your skin helps keep you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. When you're hot, you sweat. This cools your skin as the sweat evaporates. In the winter, you get goosebumps because your skin is making your hair stand up. If you were furry, this would help track you and keep you really warm. Let's make him die. Oh, he is, he is a foundry of sweat right now. Drop the AC on Arnold, see what happens. It's probably like 98.5 degrees and 98.8. It's not going anywhere, bro. What US state is the magic school bus supposed to be set in? It seems like a very California thing. I don't know if it is necessarily. Maybe it's like, oh no, no, they're in no, they're in New Hampshire. They're in Wyoming. They're in Minnesota. And all the all the states we're all in. Wahoo! <laughs> she really likes saying that, what doesn't she? What did the skin say before the big test? It said, Phoebe, don't sweat it. Oh, that hurt. Is the skin really an organ? Not only is it an organ, but it's the body's biggest organ. If Arnold gets sick, who should we notify? Well, his shirt is next of skin. 
Ooh. Stop doing the puns on me. When our bodies get hot, glands in our skin provide sweat. As the sweat evaporates, it cools our bodies down. I believe these are the voice actors from the show, by the way. I don't think there's this any... This trip is really making my skin crawl. Ooh. I don't think there's any, uh... You know, like, subbins. And if there is... Hey, they did a good job. I didn't think of it. It's not quite a submarine, but sure. Okay. Who animated these? Like, that, that just happened. It was, it was probably in the this credits. This field trip is kind of growing on me. Hmm. Yeah, like the hair on Arnold's skin. Ooh. Ooh. We got one last game. It's, it's another puzzle. This is the easy puzzle, obviously, but what is the hard one? That's... Mm-hmm. I don't want to look at that face. It's very terrifying. <laughs> I'm moving on, bro. I don't want to do... I don't... Like, I can do sliding puzzles. I just, it's really hard to understand what I'm looking at there, and I really don't want to look at it for that much longer. So, okay, I think... I think off the top of my head, we've been to everywhere. So... Let me run through the bits. There are 12 locations. We've done the mouth, we've done the esophagus, we've done the stomach, we've done the small intestine, we've done the large intestine, we've done the kidney, we've done the liver, we've done the uh, heart, we've done the brain, we've done the nose, we've done the lungs, and we've done the skin. I'd say we're good. Now there's three ways you can exit. We can click on... Sweat getting out of here? If we click on this, Arnold might just do it for us. There are three places you can exit the body from what I know, and they all have a different animation. Uh, it's probably a lot of work to do all of them, so I'm going to do the only one that really counts, uh, which is, uh, we're not going to sweat. We're instead going to go, oh, I guess you can go here via the heart. Okay, sure. Uh, we're going to go to the nervous system and go back to the mouth. Uh, you can also go to the nose by sneezing your way out. But the mouth is the way that I used to go to as a kid, because it's like, oh, it's the beginning of the trip. And also when people are talking, how do you exit Arnold? I don't know, the mouth kind of made the most sense. Out as poop is not an option. The mouth. Out as urine is not another option, by the way. But out as mouth. You think if we put this on his tongue, Arnold will spit the bus out? Arnold is... <laughs> Remember when I said the chili will kill him? He literally, like, turns red. I used to get terrified about that. I was like, oh my gosh, we killed him. And then the bus just lands there, and we're done. That's it. That's the game. Oh, it says at least 20. So I'm pretty sure I read out all of these places, but if I missed one, whoops. And also, Luz takes the longest amount of time to tell you. This isn't in order, I tell you. This is just in whatever order. But yeah, this is, I guess, like, oh, did you, did you do the game? Well, congratulations. You made it all the way through Arnold. But now that you've been everywhere, do you really think you've done everything? Arnold's a little guy, but there's a lot going on inside him. Who knows what else you might find if you go back and click your way around a bit. I'm pretty sure I saw almost everything. I'm pretty good there. So let's go to the classroom and just like top off by what was in the classroom in the end. There's a lot of random things you can click on, but I think my overall thoughts of this whole experience has been, um, wow, has it been real trippy and bizarre. And there's lots of bits that are hinting at like, you know, other kinds of things, like clearly this weather, condensation, evaporation, precipitation, like, uh, that's a... Uh, that's its own thing. What am I, what am I doing here? All these little Lift bits. So much stuff to click on. Nice what do you think of my volcano project? Oh, you can turn on the music. Nice. Very nice. But yeah, like, I don't know. The, these kind of edutainment games, um, I've, I think I've said it before, but I'll just say it again. They serve as a way to keep the kids interested and just really, like, thinking about stuff. As a kid, I used to probably pick up on things that were in this game. I wouldn't necessarily say all the facts back to front. Um, but when they said, like, you know, you know, I'm smart enough and you're smart enough to know what's real and what's not. 
Yeah, they, they are sort of right. There is a degree of like the fantastical. It's like, oh, you can't really drive a bus into into Arnold, and uh, you know, like, yeah, there's some weird things in there. But whenever they tell you a fact, it's like, well, why are they telling you this? Now, why can I see aliens in Arnold's like, you know, large intestine? I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I better take my giant box of crayons today. Ew, he's left-handed. Or is he using the computer wrong? But yeah, there's there's a lot of things to click on, and I I feel like how many. Hello there. And... Ooh, hi there. Hello there, and welcome to MSB TV. As a producer on this project, I just want three things to be very clearly understood. To find out what those things are, click on one of our three stations. This is always a, a thing at the end of the show. He'd always, like, answer a phone call about someone saying, Isn't this not accurate? He's like, yeah, I know. A school bus can enter someone's body and kids can go on a tour. True or false? False. That could not happen in real life. Not even to Arnold. But we had to make it happen. Otherwise, this science adventure would have been about a trip to a science museum instead of a trip through the body. And I mean, that's the fair point. And I got mad props for like, you know, taking, you know, the disbelief in places just to be able to make something a little more exciting. I like that. White blood cells actually chase and destroy germs. True or false? True. As unbelievable as it seems, real white blood cells actually behave just like the ones in this product. I mean, there aren't really little police cars actually streaming through your body. I'll have you know, Osmosis Jones says otherwise. Cars. They really do chase after germs and destroy them with the purpose of making the body healthy again. Like the kitten around game in the kidney. Well, you know there isn't really a car wash in your kidney, but the kidney does work like a car wash, cleaning all the blood that passes through your kidney every second of the day. What can I say? Artistic license? Thank you, Ms. my man. Ms. Frizzle really knew where Arnold was the whole time. True or false? Hmm. Probably true. No one is absolutely sure, but most people think Miss Frizzle knows everything. I'll have you know, we just let Arnold alone in a park for two hours, and then he was flipping out because he was forced to run, sweat, uh, not breathe, have heart problems. <laughs> All this stuff happened to him. I... I remember there being activities in, in here, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. I'll just poke around a little more, and once I believe I've seen everything, then we'll call it a stream, but let's just check out what's going on on the screen. Don't pop out there and then tell me all about going on an adventure, because we've already gone on an adventure. We are going on our best field trip yet, class. Stop. Because today, I don't want you to tell me. To yeah, but no, yeah, I, 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 I feel like there's a good place for all of these, and I wonder where the edutainment games are. We used to, it used to, I feel like in the 90s especially, because kids were always wanting to go on a computer. It was super fascinating as a kid. I feel like the magic of wanting to go on a computer is sort of gone, because now, Computers are everywhere, every kid and has a hey, smartphone, every, you know, We're adult is just like, yeah, you know, get the laptop or the desktop computer for the kids, life. like that kind of for stuff, you've got, like, game consoles really are relatively cheap, you know, and it's, it's, it's are, less of a luxury, but it is also, like, there is magic in, like, running a fun bit of computer software that's just, like, you know, showing some flashy visuals and maybe you'll learn some stuff along the way. And I think that's ready. the strength Click of these the games. They can, and, and perhaps the Magic Tool Bus on its own. It came out you. just the right time, so uh, and it really did. Like, so I mean, I was intrigued by these. I must have gotten a, like a school, like we could be here all a school like just fair or something. We used to do them. like a semi-annual, uh, like off we go. it was it was more like a book fair. But I'd always be interested by like the computer games. We'd never have any amazing computer games there. Maybe there'll be some that I'll mention later this month. Um, why can't I just like drag around like the banana? Ooh. So many things to click on though. Um, so yeah, I would like to know as well, uh, if you're watching this, what other 
you know, edutainment kinds of games did you play? I feel like a lot of people, I, we in my school, we didn't really have this, but we had one which I will show off later this month, I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see. If I don't show it off, then I'll mention it at the end. Um, uh, but uh, there was another one, we'd have like a typing game called Type Quick. Um, I cannot, for the life of me, uh, that, that, I think you have to buy that. Pretty sure the skeleton is a mini game. Yeah, yeah, the skeleton's a little mini game. I guess it's the only thing that's still, like, body related. This one's painful, though, because it's like, what is, like, what is my tibia's shape? I'm pretty sure, is this like a, this is like a shoulder, isn't it? No, 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 it's a shoulder. Okay, we'll put in the obvious ones. Put in the spine, put in the ribs, put in the hand. I guess you can't put it on because it's not like in order. Put the glasses on. Alright, no, that's a shoulder. No, that's a shoulder. Oh, wait. Gotta put the plate in the right spot. There you go. Now you can put the shoulder on. No. You, you don't like the shoulder? It's probably the, the leg. Yeah. Whoops. There's more, I I mean, there, there's more bones in the human body, but yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever. Little mini game where you draw, where you, you know, you make skeleton. That's cool. What a very spooky way to end this, end this whole experience. I like how the outline was wrong there. I don't know what's up with this foot. It looks like a freaking like semi-trailer drove over it. There you go. And he's happy. That's I think that actually is your one mini game in the classroom. We didn't get to play around with Arnold's uh skeletal system or his uh The nervous system really got like no luck. Maybe there was something in the nervous system and I just like completely missed it. Oh well. Um, we didn't go into his urinary system or his reproductive organs, did we? Kids don't need to know that. Kids are just like, what's the what's the dang wiener? What's that? What's the, what's the doodle doodle? Oh yeah. I feel like a lot of these Magic School Bus games have a classroom sequence as well, which is just like a way to not necessarily unwind, but to at least provide some juxtaposition. They don't just immediately go on. Oh, they I have a class, I guess. And in this classroom, they have, like, two desks, and it's just a bunch of toys. I guess Miss Frizzle's, like, a science teacher, though, so... The most exciting science teachers would always be, like, uh... You know, hey, we got experiments all around. Um... But yeah, that's all I can think. I don't I don't remember Miss Frizzle ever having a goldfish, though, I'll tell you that. There's usually just Liz in the corner. And Liz would never talk. Creative license, I guess, so... Anyways, with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this, uh, or, you know, you played this as a kid, or you played something very similar as a kid, uh, let me know on YouTube. Uh, if, you're, if you're on Twitch right now, uh, there is a YouTube. The VOD will be up there. And if you're on YouTube, uh, I stream every week at 8.30 p.m. Australian uh, Eastern Time. It's either standard or daylight, depending on what it is. I think it's standard right now. Um, but yeah, yeah, you can catch me live if you want to, or you can wait for the VODs, uh, all that jazz is fine. Um, yeah, if you, yeah, if you enjoyed this, I was gonna say leave a like, I don't, I don't think the like really matters. If you hated it, tell me that you hated it. If you liked it, tell me that you liked it, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know if you played any other ed edutainment games as a kid. Um, but yeah, tune in, see me next week. Uh, for yet another game from the childhood. Hopefully there will not be as many aliens on my brain. I should have been wearing the foil the entire time. I've got a foil hat. <laughs> I'll, pull, I'll pull out later. See ya, fellas. See ya.